Hey, it's Dion with Fitness Assassin, back with another one. Another one. Today, we got a simple, easy, quick video. How to check your body fat percentage without using any rulers or tape measures or any of that kind of stuff. Just a quick, simple solution that you can probably have laying around your house. Kind of like this thing right here. Just a piece of yarn. So, to give you a little bit of information about myself for my measurements, I'm about 5'11", weigh 193. I'm going to show you how to easily check your body fat percentage using just some household string. As long as you have it long enough, you should be just fine. So, all you're going to do is you're going to unwind the string and you're going to measure your height of your, your actual height. So, you're going to take the string the end of the string and you're going to step on it. Try not to step on a big, big piece of it just a little bit. Just a little corner because you don't want to have it too much in because it's going to mess your measurements up. So then you're going to take the string, trying to stand as straight as possible, and some scissors, normal household scissors here. You're going to measure yourself the best way you can. If you have another person to help you do this, by all means, please do. But I'm working by myself and I just got a cameraman helping me out. Or camera woman, I should say. So, about here. Does that look about right? About right there. Nope. Eh. Oh, man. Take two. <laughs> no laughing, you. Alright, so here. Right there. It's about right here. Come down a little bit. The best you do. Uh, you're angling your scissors like this. Oh, uh, okay. maybe you should look at the scissors. So I'm gonna look at the scissors and I'm gonna bring it down to my head and cut. Yeah, let's do it like that. That works good. <laughs> so now, you take your long piece of string. You got your string. I'm gonna take my shirt off for demonstration purposes. Shirt off for demonstration purposes. You're gonna take this string, the long piece of string. You're gonna fold it in half. Okay. And half. Make sure your halves are equally matched up. You don't want one longer than the other. Come here, little half. There, half. You're going to cut this half. This is not a magic trick. You're going to take that half, and all you have to do is just take half of your height, and you're going to wrap it around your waist. If the two ends touch, Thank goodness mine does for purposes. Your body fat percentage is well within where it's supposed to be. If it does not touch, let's say that you're an inch apart or two inches apart, that gives you a great guide on how much you need to lose from your midsection. Now, obviously, if you touch, if you can, you know, you can put the two pieces together, I'm going to push my abs in. Now, this is not flexing or anything, but... You know what I mean, if you can touch like that, obviously you're golden. You probably got a nice V taper and you don't have to worry about your midsection. But yeah, if you want to get it just dead on, I'm pretty much good now. Personally, I want to lose a little bit more here. I mean, you can see my abs. I have a little bit of definition, but we're still cutting down. But just a quick tip video. Let me know if you like it. Saw this on Dr. Oz. I thought it was actually very good. So I just want to share it with everybody else. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit a like button. That's over here somewhere or over there. Hit the subscribe button. Comment below. Y'all have a good day. Stop flexing in front of my camera. <laughs>